Welcome to clickmyproject.com This video will lead us to the complete demo of a dynamic optimization algorithm for task scheduling in cloud environment. Let us see the abstract of our project. Cloud computing has emerged as a popular computing model to support on-demand services. It is a style of computing where massively scalable resources are delivered as a service to external customers using internet technologies. Scheduling in cloud is responsible for selection of best suitable resources for task execution by taking some static and dynamic parameters and restrictions of tasks into consideration. The user's perspective of effective scheduling may be based on parameters like task completion time or task execution cost, etc. This paper proposes a scheduling algorithm which addresses these major challenges of task scheduling in cloud. The incoming tasks are grouped on the basis of task requirement like type of task or task length. Resource selection is done on the basis of task constraints using greedy approach. Let us see the flow of our process. Clients give n number of process to the cloud. I mean, client submits n number of process or n number of input files to the cloud. It is received by coordinator in the cloud. This coordinator receives all the tasks and group the tasks by length. The tasks are grouping by two groups, group 1 and group 2. After grouping the task, we are scheduling the task. The, sh the task scheduling is shorting by length. Each group is shorting by length. After task scheduling, the resource selection is done by the coordinator. We are having two resources, that is two virtual machines in cloud for our process and we are evaluating these two virtual machines by two constraints namely physical memory and CPU usage. After evaluating these resources, we are computing the maximum capacity VM and minimum capacity VM. So after the VM computation, the tasks are submitted to the, each of the VMs. Each group is submitted to each of the VMs. The maximum demand task group is computed and it is assigned to the mass, maximum capacity VM and minimum demand task is computed and it is submitted to minimum capacity VM. After these task submission, the task will be executed in both of the VMs and the VM efficiency is evaluated. Let us see the execution of our process. Run client file. It will ask you the number of inputs. I am entering 4. Click OK. Browse the task. AB. Now click Submit. So the task 1 is received. While receiving, it will name it as 1 underscore with the file name. Like this, we need to give four tasks now. Just clear it. Choose input files and click submit. It will show you the message. Click OK. Specific number of tasks received. Click OK. So in client side, click clear. It will show you four input files submitted. We cannot submit more than the specific number of inputs. Click OK. And click exit. Now click proceed in coordinator. Group the task. Sign the files group successfully. Click OK. Click schedule. Click proceed. So we need to get the resources. I mean we need to evaluate the watching machines. Click get resources. Click plus in VM1. Click processing power. It will display the physical free memory and CPU usage. Click send. In VM2, click processing power. Click send. Here in coordinator, the resources are received and shown here. Click on resource optimization. Click 
on the source computation. Here, it will be displayed the message like task group 2 has maximum demand. Click OK. So, the memory, CPU in VM1 and VM2 is displayed in percentage. It is the average of both VM memory and CPU. It is 40% and it is 43%. Task group 1 demand and task group 2 demand in bytes. So, it is in percentage. Click the source location. So here, click the source location. So it will display the maximum and minimum capacity in demand M2. Click the C. Click on max allocation and open VM2. Click receive. So here, task 1 is submitted to VM2. Click OK. Click on max allocation again. Go to this window and click receive. So task 2 is submitted to VM2. Click OK. So here it shows as input file 2 is received. And again, go to client VM. Click on max location. So here click receive. Task 3 is submitted to VM2. Click OK. Here the task submission is completed as we have only 3 tasks in group 2. Click OK. So in VM2 it shows a specified number of tasks received. Click OK. Now click on Win Allocation and open VM1 window. In VM1 click Proceed. So click on Receive. So here task 1 submitted to VM1. Click OK. So task submission is completed as we have only one task in task group 1. Click OK. So here click proceed. So now we need to receive load. Open VM1 window. Click on proceed. Now we need to, need to execute the task. So click on execute. So we have only one task. So task 1 is executed. Click OK. Open VM2 window. Click proceed. Execute the task in VM2. <laughs> task 1 is executed. Click OK. Here we are having 3 tasks. So one by one the task is executing. Task 2 executed. Click OK. And task 3 is executed. Click OK. Click on Evaluate. So, to VM2, click on Time. So, task 1, we are having 3 tasks here. The task 1 execution time, task 2 and task 3 is this. Click on Memory. The passing memory for task 1, 2 and 3 is this. Open the client machine, there is coordinator, click on receive load. Open VM1, click send load. Here it shows load sent, click OK. Open VM2, click send load. So the load is sent, click OK. So in client side, it shows load receive from both VMs, click OK. Sync on RAM. This is the initial evaluation of RAM that is physical VM2 of VM1 and VM2. Click on CPU. This is the initial CPU evaluation of VM1 and 2. This is the final evaluation of RAM after allocation. Here the RAM is used more than the physical initial usage. This is the final evaluation of CPU usage. The initial and final evaluation of CPU usage is the same because uh, uh, if we use different systems, it will be differentiated. 
as we are executing in a single system, it shows the same usage. So here, we are executing the task efficiently and allocated the resources efficiently. We use greedy approach and the task execution and resource utilization is achieved efficiently. Thanks for watching.